hello lovely viewers i welcome you to my channel and if today be the first time you are visiting my channel please you kindly subscribe then you like and then you share and in today's episode uh, we are coming to customize a starbucks uh, logo or starbucks design on these cups yeah come to customize it like a starbucks cafe you are coming to customize it on this cup so that it will be a customized cap for Starbucks. So first of all, you know this is the logo for Starbucks. So first of all, I will design the Starbucks. Sorry, so I'll, first of all, I'll draw my perfect circle like this one. Okay, then I'll bring in my logo. This Starbucks, but first of all, I want to convert it to that I need this color. This is the original color, so I need to copy this color down. They are good. So, first of all, I'll co convert this one to let's say, um, um, bitmap and grayscale, and yeah, that is black and white. Then I'll deepen it, okay. Good. Good. I want it this way. Okay. Good. Now, once you finish like this, I'll right click on this one and I'll place it inside this one. Let me edit to fit it well. Yeah. Yeah, good. It's better. Yeah, it's good. You are watching on my desk. Please, when you come, then you subscribe, you like, then you share. Then let me remove the outline. Or better still, let me increase the outline for this one. So I will come here and I will choose this one. I will make it white. You see it later. Then I will hold here 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 or here that's the four uh, edges then i place my hand on the uh, shift then i'll stretch it okay i'll stretch it like this then i'll make a duplicate of the circle okay and i'll remove this one okay the circle is there good that one is filled with this color okay good now this sign because the image was uh, inserted or the power clip was placed and removed that is why you see this sign so if you want to remove this sign you right click okay then you come to frame type and go to remove frame okay good now you right click you order i'm sending this uh, circle behind the starbucks um, logo okay the starbucks logo so order Good, like this. Now, let me increase it a bit. Sorry, undo. Let me increase it a bit. Like this. Then I will make another copy again. Okay, like this one. Now, you see, that one, it has an outline, which is white. Okay, it has an outline. This one, it has an outline. If you want to see, this is it but i'll remove it i remove it yeah so let me remove that one by this one i'll let the outline remain then i'll remove the inside fill okay good so i'll click on this one good let me reduce the size of this outline i'll make it 1.5 okay good now I'm coming to put in the star box, okay? So I'll write star, star box. Yeah, I hope I'm correct, yeah. Star box coffee, coffee, C O O F E. -E. Sorry. Now. I will choose a very nice font. I might not get the same 
font like the Starbucks one, but I'll try to find a similar one. So let me go through and uh, let me see this one. Yeah, I'll maintain this one. It's okay. Then I'll increase the outline. Sorry, then I'll increase the size. Good. So it must start from somewhere here to this place. Okay. Yeah. So after I've stretched it like this, I come to test and I come to fit to path. Okay. Like this one. Good. Then I'll take this one, shape to and make it compatible. Okay. Good. So this shows that I have to increase the circle, okay, like this. Yes, then I might reduce this one also a bit. Good. Let me reduce it more. Good. Now I can pull this one up like this. Good. That I'll be in the middle of this circle and this one, okay. Good. Now, when I finish like this, I'll come to objects, okay, select it, come to object, break test apart, so that it will break itself from the circle, okay, like this, good, and go back to undo, then I'll give it a color which is um, white, then slip with a cafe. Slip with a cafe. So I'll have to choose the same font for the Starbucks. Click here. I'll choose. The size is 39. I think it's too good. Let me increase it a bit. Okay. I want to I'll come here. Put the path. This time I might will come down here. Okay. Then come here. You see, mirror test vertically because you see it has mirror and turn down. Okay, so I have to come here. Then we come here. Okay, good. Good. Then I'll take this one and make it loose yeah I'll make it loose and I'll pull it up a bit Good. now I can repeat the same process I repeat the same process that I used to separate this one from the circle so I come to object let me click on like this Sorry, click on like this. Okay, then. Why is it not selected? Come here. We test apart like this. So I can give one this one a different color or a separate color. Okay. Now, meaning this one is supposed to have come here a bit. Good. Good. Now, I'll delete this one and what again? I think uh, Starbucks, it has some stars here. Yeah, so I'll come here, choose this star, and I'll draw. Okay, I'll fill it white. And I'll come here and I'll place them here. Sorry, I remove the outline like this one. I'll make sure I'll copy them, press my hand on the control so that it will align with this one equally. Okay. Good. And that is that. So once I'm done like this, 
I'll place this sign here. Um, this sign, this, this, and this. Sorry. Good. That is how you write this R. You can write the R separate, okay, and put it in a circle like this. I don't know that's registered or trademark. I don't know the meaning. I'm not too sure. Good. You can do it like this, okay? You can do it like this. Let me the outline. You can do it like this. Or, you type this bracket, okay? Then you press the R, then you press the close bracket like this. Then you press space. That one's perfect, okay? So, you can use any of it. Okay, then I'll place it here, somewhere here, small. If someone knows the meaning of this one, you can drop it or you can tell me under the comment section whether it's uh, registered or trademark. I don't know. So let me delete this one. Good. Now I'll group it like this. Good. Then I'll be placing them on the caps okay i'll be placing them on the caps so i'll copy one here then i'll bring one i'll convert it to um bitmap okay good now i'll take the first cap so i should be a three a four sorry so I can increase the cap. So I've taken the first cap. I've taken the first cap. Then I can place it here like this. Very neat. Okay. I think it's too big. Yeah, like this. So I'm done with this one. So you'll be here. Then this one will come and this one since this one since the up here is bigger than the down here i have to use um mock-up method if you glance through my videos you see how i did the mock-ups video or how we can do the mock-up okay so that one let me let me then let me copy this um one and I will reduce it a bit like this. So now, this is how we do the mock-up. We did like this. Okay, I will draw this. Mm -hmm. I will draw this. Okay. Taking the shape of this one. Then I will come here. I'll take the envelope, but first of all, I have to delete the midpoint. I have to select all and make it like this, okay, convert to line. Then I'll delete the midpoint. This midpoint will be deleted. Good, then I'll make sure I place this one here to take the shape, okay. Good, then I'll click on this one and convert here to curves and pull here up and here down just to take the shape, okay? Now, now, I just copy this shape, okay, like this, and place this one inside. Okay, like this. Mm -hmm. I'll group it. I'll click on this one. Then I'll copy the property. Okay. Then I'll shoot it like this. Have you seen it has taken the shape? Yeah, so you can remove this one and bring it back like this. Okay, good. Now you can delete this one. Uh, very nice one. 
so this one is also finished this one is also finished come here then come on to this one i think this one is also to take the same shape so i can even copy one of this and place it here like this for this one too the up is bigger than the down one so i think this one will be okay yeah and this one too i'll group this one and i'll group this one yeah so this uh the whole thing is going to be so i have to group this one one very neat and very simple and very easy to create so, that is that very simple very simple very simple so viewers this is how you can customize the starbucks uh, logo on the caps and you can also place it on any other souvenir and it's not only starbucks if you want to customize any logo on the caps this is how you can pass through this process to do it so Thank you for your time and enjoy this video and please kindly subscribe then you like and then you share thank you for your time bye bye